I'm starting a new video series where I'm going to talk about security and safety. But before I publish any of these videos, I want to talk to you about being paranoid. Appropriately paranoid. Let's do so by looking at the paranoia spectrum, statistics and probabilities, understanding the difference between worst case scenarios and most likely scenarios, risk management, and planning. The paranoia spectrum is absolutely fun to observe. Here's what it looks like. On the left side of the spectrum, we have the naive. This is my sister. She thinks everybody is nice and loving. Everyone she meets is a nice guy and has the best interest of the planet and their community in mind. She leaves her house unlocked, her car unlocked, and she uses her actual first and last name for her username and the same password for every online account she has. On the right side of the paranoid spectrum, we have the preppers. This is my buddy Max. He carries a concealed pistol to church. He stockpiles and buries ammunition and cash in the backyard. He owns a dozen guns. He takes the battery out of his cell phone when it's not in use. And he's preparing for a time in the next few years where he will actually fight zombies who are trying to attack him because of his underground canned food collection. Obviously both sides of the spectrum are a little bit extreme. I'm somewhere in the middle. I like to call this place appropriately paranoid. Although it is slightly right of neutral, it is a place where decisions are made and patterns are set by using and analyzing statistics and probability. It's a place where we trust and love people, but we don't give them an opportunity to hurt us or to steal from us. It's a place where risk management is incorporated into our lifestyle and choices. It's a place where we understand worst case scenarios, but we plan for most likely scenarios. Let's start with statistics and probabilities. Statistics are a great tool for safety and security minded people. Statistics tell us that by using your seatbelt, you have a much larger chance of surviving a car accident. Statistics tell us that by not being outside of your house after 10 p.m., you have a much larger chance of avoiding a calamity. Statistics tell us that it's not safe to vacation in certain cities. Many people ignore statistics and they go on with their feelings. And although I don't want to discount feelings or intuition, I do want to highlight that we would all be safer if we simply followed statistics. Worst case scenarios versus most likely scenarios. Sadly, worst case scenarios happen. You die in a car accident. You die of a horrible infection. Someone evil kills or rapes you or someone you love. The government collapses and people are left to fend for themselves. But these do not happen as often as most likely scenarios. Most likely scenarios are what statistics point to. Rather than dying in a car accident, the most likely scenario is that you will be in a car accident. Rather than dying of a horrible infection, the most likely scenario is that you will die from a cardiovascular disease. Rather than being raped or murdered, the most likely scenario is that you're robbed or have your property vandalized. Rather than the US government collapsing, the most likely scenario is that the economy will have another recession and your 401k will be worth half of its current value. Worst case scenarios are tragic. Their effects are life changing, but their probability is small. Most likely scenarios are also hard to endure, but with enough planning, you can mitigate their effects. And this takes us to risk management. Risk management in the military is broken into two parts. The first part is identifying risks. These are things like terrorism, violent crime, robbery, getting sick because of something you eat or drink. The second part of risk management requires deliberately finding ways to mitigate these risks. For example, if the risk is being robbed, then you should make yourself a hard target by maintaining situational awareness and not wearing flashy clothes or expensive jewelry. If the risk is getting sick because of eating the local food, then we can make sure that our meats are cooked properly and are well done. We could drink only bottled water or you could eat at only nice restaurants, which are more likely to have higher hygiene standards. The key to risk management is being deliberate. 
deliberately identifying risks, and deliberately planning ways to mitigate the effects of those risks. And this brings us to planning. Although I always keep the worst case scenario in the back of my mind, I personally plan for the most likely scenario. Let's look at a few ways that we can plan deliberate paranoia. You are 20 times more likely to be killed in a car accident than in a shooting. So I deliberately plan to mitigate this risk of dying in a car accident by driving defensively and owning a big vehicle. Statistics say that the leading causes of death in the world are cardiac diseases, cancer, and respiratory diseases. This is why my wife and I have placed a huge emphasis in our family with being healthy. I like to say that healthy is the new wealthy. Statistics say that I will be robbed. So to make my house a hard target, I have a huge fence. I have bars and I have doors. I have an alarm with a camera system and I make this system visible. Statistics tell us that the US government is not going to collapse. Even though I studied macroeconomics at Harvard, I still can't understand how our government has trillions of dollars worth of deficit and why most Americans are $15,000 in debt. These statistics absolutely haunt me. I'm worried about another recession, a large one. So my money is invested in assets, not liabilities. My money is invested in mechanisms of passive income, not hopeful income. Over the next few months, we are going to take a look at several ways that we can be appropriately paranoid. We are going to use statistics and probabilities to better understand the most likely scenario. And then we will address planning considerations and risk management techniques, which will mitigate the effects of these terrible situations so we and our loved ones can maintain our safety and security. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and to forward to a friend who needs to know this. Life is a special operation. Are you ready for it?